How's everybody? It's Yogi here with part 7 of my Perfume Parlor haul. Um, this one, um, there's a couple of good ones, but there is also loads of disappointing ones. Um, so, um, first thing um, is Baccarat Rouge. My previous video, you saw me, I, I did a Baccarat Rouge, the x ray version. They didn't have the x ray version in stock, so I thought I would just go for the normal one. And um, yeah, it's it's not as good as the X-Rate. It doesn't last very long. Um, with the X-Rate one from the, I think they call it the Card Red Surplus. That one you spray on and you get the wafts. You just get that um, latex candy floss vibe the whole time from you. You make this bubble. And this stuff does not last. Um, it does, you get that smell, the candy floss latex vibe. But it, it just doesn't last. I very regretfully bought a 30 ml of this, which I thought was gonna be fantastic, but it's not. If I if I if you like Bacar Rouge 540, um I would say go for the X straight version, which is Red Card Third Plus on Perfume Polar, which is a much better longevity um than, than this one. So bit of a disappointment, but hey, I will use this one to mix with Club to Meet Intense to make my own little um little mix. I don't know if you guys watched Dua um, Cuba No. Um, he did a review where um, different Dua fragrances, they've mixed uh, Aventus and, and um, Baccarat Rouge together and it's fantastic. So I use those to, to, to mix it up and it, it works quite well. Next one um, is called, um, I think it's Hood Miracle. Yeah, it's Hood Miracle. This one is um, Mancera Sierra Boy Day. Now, people said this is very similar to uh, Aventus, but it's not. I can see what they're trying to reference there um, in terms of the similarity to Aventus. There is something in here which I really like. I don't know what it is, but I think it's the middle notes and the bottom notes of, of this one I really, really enjoy. Um, longevity is quite good. Um, I spread it once to go to the gym and then I was a bit lazy and I wear the same gym shoe the next day when I went to the gym for a cardio session and um, I didn't spray anything on, just went um, and then during my workout the next I got this little wafts of this fragrance coming out of the clothes again. So it is a nice fragrance, it's not my favourite favourite um, but there is something in it which I really like, it's a, it's a certain um, I think it's the middle notes that comes out, middle or bass notes that comes out, which I really, really enjoy. Um, this is a good one. I might pick up myself the the hundred mil, the original one, um, because I think this one could be like um, a work scent, um, um, a daily driver would be would be a nice one because it's not too overpowering. It's just a, a nice fragrance. But yeah, this one is is quite good. Nice longevity on this one. Next one, Elysium, or they call it Immortal, from the Roger Parfums. This one, I had very high expect, expectations of this one, but it's not, for me, a very outstanding, strong fragrance. It's very soft, um, it's a nice smelling fragrance, but it's not my type of fragrance. I like fragrances who stands out, um, who you know more or less make a statement, who give you compliments, who leaves a sillage. Um, I've wear this one a couple of times, but it's I, I don't know if the real one is better. But this one for me, I don't know. It's it's a bit of a disappointment. When you spray it, it doesn't last. It's um, it doesn't have the lasting power. I heard um, they say. Uh, Puffin Vintage, they do this one and they said this is very very good so I'm very curious to see if Puffin Vintage one is better than this, it probably is because it this it's a very nice fragrance but it's not, it doesn't have that projection and that power um, so for me I would not recommend getting this one unless you like soft fragrances Next one, um, Byrendo, people compliment or comment I need to get some Byrendo fragrances, a lot of people say this one. Um, this one for me it's got that lipsticky, lipsticky vibe, it is a nice fragrance. I, I, from when I unpack all of the fragrances this is the first one I wanted to smell because I had really high hopes on this one. 
um, it is a nice fragrance it's quite it is quite good but again it doesn't have that strong projection longevity um, theage um, if this one was a bit more stronger it would have been a very nice fragrance but if I think if you're gonna be on a plane or you're gonna be in a close setting um, and you just want to be uh, a nice clean um, smell with a bit of a mystery to yourself then I think this one this one can do the trick because it is quite it is a quite nice fragrance but it, again it doesn't have that strong lasting power next one oh this one i was very excited percival from perfumes de molly very excited took it i sprayed it i'm like mm, it smells nice it smells fresh but it smells tyrannic it smells familiar and um i had a look around and this thing over here is Mont Blanc Legend, which is a big disappointment because Mont Blanc Legend is a cheap fragrance. I think you can get it for like 20 or 30 quid on Amazon. Um, really a shame because um, I always expect perfume, Paul, uh, perfume vintage, sorry, perfumes de Mali to be uh, to release um, very nice, bold, different fragrances like they've done with Pegasus and Leighton. Um, but this time it's just no it's um if you want to get yourself uh this fragrance that smells like this just get one bonk legend um don't waste your money or time on this because you get the same effect obviously this one's a bit more minty um the real uh perfume uh perfume molly uh percival they use much more better uh, ingredients in it but for me personally i would not spend money on that because for people with normal noses they they think you, you're wearing Mont Blanc Legend so uh, and there's nothing wrong with Mont Blanc Legend but the Mont Blanc Legend is 20 quid not 250 quid for for this fragrance so um nice clean fresh but if you want the real thing just buy Mont Blanc Legend rather next one uh, Montal Blackwood. Now I heard a lot of people talking about this fragrance. Um, when you said Montal on YouTube, they say Blackwood, Blackwood, Blackwood. So I got it. This is a beast. If you like oud and you like rose um, in the beast mode, like strong, um, this one is very, very good. I, I think this one is even stronger and lasts longer than um, than the real uh, Montal Blackwood. Um, so if you like that sort of fragrance good i haven't really um i haven't really uh, got time to wear this one because i think you need to wear a suit you need to dress up for this one you can't just wear it every day because it's strong you're going to choke people out of this so it's i think if you want to make a statement if you want to dress up this one will be very very nice and the last one which i was very surprised about again as oud and as rose but this one is a very nice fragrance. Um, I've wear it um, last week, the week before. I was wearing it the whole week. Um, it stayed long on my clothes. So I keep getting the wafts of that uh, fragrance. It is a rose-based fragrance as well, but it's not um, like a strong rose. It's a nice blended rose fragrance. Um, I think if you wear this one, um, it's um, you've got a bit of amber in there as well. I think it's a... It's a, if you're very sophisticated, um, uh, you dress up quite nice. I just wear it with my polo shirt at work and it was, it's a nice fragrance. So this one, again, if you like wearing suits and you want to stand out, you can research this one on, on YouTube. A lot of people are raving about this fragrance. It's not for everyone. I would say probably for people in their 30s and older, but this is a very, very nice fragrance. Um, it is maybe a bit challenging for some people, but if you want to be bit more mature if you want to be um you, if you want to smell like somebody made it in their life um, um keep a bit of a mysterious effect around you this one is really really nice and like you can see i've used it a couple of times or i do that whole week and this thing is strong it lasts as long it you keep getting wafts from it so yeah that's all i've got for you guys for for this um this um haul for perfume parlor um, I'm still doing some research to see which ones are there um, to, to try to get. Um, at the moment, they've got loads of stuff out of stock. 
So which the ones I want to try, they've got out of stock. So as soon as they come in stock, I'm going to get them. Um, and I just want to say thank you for all the comments and the likes. I am really, really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any questions or if, any, if you had any perfume parlor fragrance that you tried and you really like it and you think I should get it, uh, leave a comment below. I would love to, um, to see what you guys think about all of these fragrances. Alright guys, thank you very much. Cheers, bye.